Hello, uh, students and staff. I am Dr. Tamia, a counselor at the Wellbeing Center, and I'm here to provide a few breathing exercises that have been proven to help with stress management. And so I invite you to come to a comfortable seat. If you're lying down, you can sit up. But if you're unable to sit up, then you can remain lying down because these breathing exercises can be done while you're laying down as well. But if you can sit up, just come to a comfortable seat with your feet flat on the floor. And we're going to take what's called three collective breaths. Your hands can just rest comfortably on your your knees or your thighs and just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And take another inhale in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. We'll take a third breath in through your nose and let that out through your mouth taking three collective breaths to just ground and center yourself at any given time, slowing your breathing and just breathing a little deeper down into your abdomen. So the next breathing exercise that we'll do is called stress tension release. Oftentimes it's a little difficult to notice where we're holding stress in our bodies or even that we're holding stress. We can have our shoulders up to our ears and biting our fingernails and everything is tight and we'll say, I'm not stressed. But as you continue to breathe and listen, we're going to go through a series of stress tension release so we know what it feels like to hold stress in our body and then to release that. So continue breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. On your next inhale, take your fist and ball those up. Keep breathing and move your shoulders up towards your ears and maybe even frown up your eyebrows a bit. Continue breathing in and out. Maybe curl your toes and don't ball your fist too tight to where you hurt yourselves, but make them close. And on your next exhale, release. Open your hands, let your shoulders come down away from your ears, uncurl your toes, let your chest open and keep an even breath. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And imagine as your hands open, all the stress leaving your body. Now, if you feel any discomfort at any time, stop the exercise, return your breathing to normal. Let's try it one more time. Breathing in, ball your fists up, bring your shoulders up to your ears, curl your toes, wrinkle your eyebrows. As you breathe out, release open your hands let your shoulders come down away from your ears allow your toes to uncurl you can even invite a smile let your breath return to normal in through your nose and out through your mouth great and notice how you feel with each of these the next one is called smiling breath. Very simple. Just remain in a comfortable upright position as you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Lower your chin to chest just briefly. And on your next inhale, bring to mind someone or something that puts a smile on your face. And once you have that someone or that something in your mind, just breathe out. Breathe in through your nose, keeping that image. 
Bring a light curl to your lips and a smile, lift your chin, breathe out. Keep that inner smile, breathe in through your nose, breathe out and lock it in. Continue an even breath. Research has proven that there is a protective well-being factor in maintaining a positive outlook or accessing optimism. So at times where we can activate that inner smile and have that smiling breath, we are doing our bodies and our minds a world of good. Beautiful. So the next breathing exercise is called abdominal or belly breathing. And so place your hands right on your belly below your abdomen, below your navel, about two or three fingers below. And as you breathe in through your nose, notice your belly rise. As you breathe out through your mouth, notice your belly fall. Breathe in, belly rise. Breathe out, belly fall. Last time, breathe in, belly rise. And breathe out, belly fall. Now continue your even breath in that direction as you even listen to me. The benefits of your abdominal breathing is it allows you to get breath all the way down into your diaphragm and that connects with your vagus nerve. And that is the nerve in our body that activates our central nervous system. And that's the part that brings in calm and our relaxation response. So anytime we can do a deep breath all the way down into our bodies, that allows our bodies to have a relaxation response versus a stress response. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Great job. The very last one is called counting your breath or finger counting breath. So just lift a hand in the air. I'm going to start with our index finger as we breathe in, index finger to thumb. Breathe out. Release. Breathe in, second finger to thumb. Breathe out, release. Breathe in, third finger or ring finger to thumb. Breathe out, release. And breathe in, pinky finger to thumb. Breathe out, release. Let your breath return to normal. If you like to, you can do the same on the other side as many times as you choose. I thank you all for listening. The Wellbeing Center wishes you well. And always remember, you can return to your breath for centering and calm. Have a great day, everyone.